All right, good evening. I'd like to call to order the organizing meeting of the Board of Directors of Community Television of Santa Cruz County of December 2nd. Um, would the secretary kindly call the roll? Yes. Chair Maziers. Here. Director Hall. Here. Director Rand. Here. Director Mannheim. Here. Director Laurent. Here. Director O'Driscoll. Here. Director Owen. Here. Director Lanier. Here. Director Svensson. Here. All right. Thank you very much. We have a full house. Thank you all for coming. Um, <coughs> so we can move on to oral communications. Item number two. Uh, is there anybody here here who would like to address the board on an item uh, not listed on the agenda? Seeing none. We can move on to late additions to the agenda, additions and deletions. I found some corrections after I sent out the agenda. But that's not listed under that, so. Uh, <laughs> um, I will remember to put Elizabeth uh, on the executive committee uh, uh, roll call. Uh, I added you to the template already. Um, and uh, does anybody else have anything that needs to be added or they want to remove from the agenda? All right, seeing none, we can move on to the consent agenda, which is items four and five to approve the minutes from our last uh, regular meeting of September 23rd and to approve uh, the recommendation of the Finance Committee to accept the June, July, August, September, and October oh financial reports. Did you all enjoy reading those? Uh? <laughs> I skipped to the end. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can, uh, I can assure you the Finance Committee uh, went over them with a fine-tooth comb, found mistakes, and... and Is that why it took so long? No, uh, just kidding. I, I'll, I'll make a motion and then explain what happened. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'll move that we approve items four and five in the consent agenda, and I'd like to comment after there's a second. Is there a second? I'll second. second. All right, we have a motion and a second. And what had happened, there were mistakes as much as uh, columns of items that should be maybe in one spot or another. There is nothing really irregular. It's just trying to make these as smooth as possible in terms of how the accounting and your uh, financial representation is made and so I wanted to thank Mel for working with us it took a lot of patience and uh, they are now all in proper order and they really weren't out of proper order they just we thought needed some adjustments and so they've all been adjusted and here they are for your action tonight all right and I think Tom did you want to go over the general trends of uh, um, I'd be happy to yeah I was just thank you. thankfully I have it with me I was just looking over okay. um, yeah the um, so we have we've had a little bit of a dip in revenue for um, the, the satellite services for um, let me see August for July August and September but it came back up in October so cumulatively we are about ten percent behind where we hope to be in October based on our proposed budget but we are still in the black if, if I'm not mistaken in terms of our costs, expenses versus revenue. So we're making more than we're spending, but not as much as we'd hoped we'd made, but it's going the right direction. Thank you very much. Yeah. And I, I will note that it wasn't the uptick um, partially due to the power outages, the, the public safety power shutoffs uh, led some folks to come over here. I, th I think that's what... Uh, so yeah. Some yeah. extra people came because yeah. they couldn't work at home and they couldn't work at different places, so um, we right. had power. <laughs> <laughs> so, un so unfortunately, fire season's over now. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but storm season. Storm season. Yeah. So a lot of people saw us who had never yeah. been here before, so that's we got a lot of new places new It actually places was in. very nice. It felt like a real was community. Busy. I know, yeah. it was great. Yeah. So we may have people canoeing down the San Lorenzo to <laughs> to come into work here um, as the, if the storms continue. Great. So uh, we have a, a, a motion by uh, a second Director Hall, and we had a second by Director Mannheim. Uh, any further comment or questions on those? No. All right. Seeing none. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? All right. That carries unanimously. Thank you. All right. So we can move on to our um, action-packed regular agenda now. Um, we have uh, an election, uh, item number six is an election of a board member at large seat expiring November 2023. <laughs> Following the, the previous agendas, I did not put a name there, but um, our, our Chair Emeritus Keith Gudger has expressed um, willingness to uh, rejoin us on the board. Um, so uh, um, if that is the pleasure of the board, we can, uh, can we have a motion in a second? I'd like to make the motion to uh, instate Keith Gutscher as our board member. Second. Uh, is there a second? All right, motion, we have a motion and a second. Um, 
I think everybody here knows Keith, maybe not Elizabeth so much, but uh, he was on the board for uh, eight years prior to this. Um, I first heard about him as the uh, Community Television Volunteer of the Year uh, recipient award, you know, winner way back when, and, and he's continued to, um, you know, dedicate uh, countless hours of uh, blood, sweat, and tears to this organization. So, um, and I think one, one thing, and Tom, oh, you can next, <coughs> is Keith, Karen, and all the volunteers were actually the people who led <coughs> the work to keep community TV on the air, mm. and we'll talk about that a little later. Right. But I want to give them credit. I mean, I, it's amazing how much work was done. When I would just sign the bills, I'd look at how much effort it took to come over here. So I'm very happy to second his motion to be back on the board. Great. All right. So uh, any further comments or questions? I'd just add to that. I was going to say something similar, but in addition to that, he was chair of the board through that entire transition period, mm -hmm. which was really critical for us to getting back on our feet. So. All right, so we, we had a, a motion mm -hmm. um, by, and I think well, I'm trying to do the last names, by Director yeah. Rand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be a little formal here. Yes, you know. no, it's fine. And then I who was the second? Uh, uh, to my left. Director Hall. Director okay, Hall. all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? That carries unanimously. Thank you. Um, Keith, if you can squeeze it, is there a chair? <laughs> can we? Squeeze you in here? Oh, yeah. Getting his own chair. Yes. There's a true volunteer. Yes. <laughs> Get his old sign out. All right. Keith, you could come sit yeah, here. Yeah, we have room over here, Keith. Keith. You could come sit over here if oh, if you're oh, not oh, afraid of. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he he saved with his own plaque. He saved money by by reusing the old one. <laughs> Very good. All right. So welcome um, back. Welcome back. Yeah, so good to have you here. Awesome. And uh, <coughs> so we can move on. Uh, unfortunately, I had to take an item off the agenda. Uh, I will uh, to put him in? No, no. Uh, <laughs> uh, Director Owen informed me that she won't be able to continue on our board. So I was hoping to reelect her. But um, um, I guess it's not on the agenda to thank her. So I can do that during announcements. But I'm so glad you're here tonight. I wanted to be here just to say keep on going and do uh, invite me to some strategic events. I just can't do the board meeting. We understand. We understand. We appreciate everything that you've done. Uh, I'll say it some more later. Um, so uh, item number seven is the re-election of a uh, board member, which is the County of Santa Cruz appointed seat, which would be me, um, uh, expiring November 20. I will make a motion. We have a motion by Director Rand. Is I'll there second. a second? All right, we have a motion and a second. Any further comments? Uh, oh, who is sure. the second? I missed. Uh, oh, sorry, Madam Director Mayor. Manheim. Me. Okay. Sorry, I should have. Nope, nope, that's fine. I mean, forward. So <laughs> I just wanted to say that it was, uh, you know, enjoying very much sitting next to you, uh, you being the chair and me being the vice chair. And, and uh, I've seen you grow, and I want you to continue growing and being chair. Well, we haven't gotten there yet. I this know. is just to keep me on the board. I'm this just, is just to keep I'm me on the board. I'm just setting you up here. <laughs> okay, thank you. Um, uh, I'll call the vote. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, I guess I'm, I'm staying. <laughs> <laughs> staying for now. Um, so uh, thank you, we can move on to item number eight, <coughs> which is the election of officers. Um, it, it, there is a, uh, included in the packet, a uh, slate. Um, it's, uh, I assume everyone's willing to continue, uh, our treasurer, our secretary, and our vice chair. Um, I was ready to hand the chair back to Keith, but he's okay with, uh, I was told I that I'm doing okay. Um, no, 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 I didn't say okay. I said it was a pleasure. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> That's not doing okay. It's I, a mistake. I, I will say my one qualification is I know not to wear pinstripes on air, you know. Or polka dots. Or polka dots. Or orange. Um, if, can I just, uh, I think Please. actually the slate did not get oh. put in here, so oh, maybe no. we should walk through who it is. Okay, yes. yes. Which is Maitreya's is chair. Matilda as vice chair, um, Larry as secretary, yep. and Joe as treasurer. Sure. Huh? And I'd be happy to make that nomination. There you since go. Since you've all been, if you're all willing, because you've been doing a great job. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll second that. All right. Well, yeah, I've been told that I'm doing okay, so um, I'm willing to stay on as chair if you're all willing to continue to give me good guidance and advice uh, and uh, share all of your wisdom and, and uh, enthusiasm. Deal. All right. That's uh, a deal. Let's call the vote. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. It carries unanimously. Um, great. So now we can move on to uh, appointment um, to committees. 
And that, okay, that is included in, yeah. yes. Um, so I did notice yesterday that there was a slight discrepancy between what's on the website and what was on the agenda last year in terms of the committees. <coughs> um, and, and with uh, Judy not continuing, there's an open spot on the fund development committee. Do we still have a fund development committee? Do we still want to have a fund development committee? Um, Uh, no. I would say let's let's re review that you know based on the next item on the agenda. Uh, I think we don't want to have things you know going parallel. And so no no <laughs> what I mean no 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 what I mean is that uh, you know depending on what what yes. happens to the next agenda item, there is a bigger plan. And yeah. So I get what you're saying. I don't think we should do at this point the fund development committee that we had. Okay. So I would say let's not. Let's dissolve that for. Well, I think just put that one on hold yes. and see how you want to reformulate exactly. it in the future. Yeah. Okay. And so, question: Do we do we need? Does the vote? Does the board need to establish any committees? And we can do that at any time. Does it? Can that only happen during our organizing meeting, yeah. or uh, can that happen at any time that we see a, a need for? I think it can happen any time, but also Elizabeth. And Guy are not on any of them. And right. So yeah. um, I didn't get to talk to you ahead of time. Uh, Guy did say that that you'd be willing to serve on any committee. Are, are there any that particularly strike your fancy? Uh, I we cannot have a quorum though, right, on the committees right. of the board. So which is current now that we have a well, no, we don't quite have a full board, but it's um, was it four or five members? So Nine, four of members is four, okay. Four five members less. is not okay. okay. <coughs> Um, so I guess so four yeah, people can be on a committee. Finance committee is full. Uh, personnel committee doesn't meet very often. I don't know. Uh, any well, one person could be on the governance committee. The governance committee. Uh, let me, since we can have the, you, we can add committees at any time. I would imagine we can also change the membership yeah. as yes. right. needed. As needed. Um, I would recommend. Approving these as they are, okay. giving you an opportunity to talk to the new members um, directly and see okay. if there are any that they're particularly interested in. And then, and then in January, when we come back for our next meeting, you could um, have a new slate for okay. any changes. Great, thank you. Um, that sounds good. Uh, one thing I will point out that is a change is the Voluntary Advisory Committee Chair. Uh, Matilda is passing the reins to Keith um, as her other commitments. Um, require mm -hmm. and we thank you very much for uh, your service with the the vac as we call it yep. and for giving us reports back um all this time um, okay so i will entertain <coughs> pardon entertain a motion <laughs> do we have a motion I have a yes. Okay. yes sir um there are only three on the finance committee correct mm -hmm. so there could be four what well, could be four i would I would like to be on that committee if it wouldn't cause any trouble for anyone else. You're, you're always welcome. Since he's been attending as a <laughs> visitor, <laughs> not causing too much problem. <laughs> and Guy, if you would like to be on the governance committee, or Elizabeth. Be warned, it, has, it hasn't met in a long time. <laughs> That's one for me, yeah. <laughs> you can get all the credit and, and none of the responsibility. There are four, there are four on it, however. Oh, there's four. Yeah. No, but that means that, that I would withdraw. <laughs> oh, okay. Because <laughs> I'm on so many committees. Okay. All right, so Does strike, that mean strike he's the chair too? What? Does that mean he'll be the new chair? <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, right now, the, the, the governor's the governor's oh, committee. Gov okay, sorry. Yeah, that sounds fine to me. I'm happy to be on that. Okay. And um, and maybe Elizabeth, I'm, I think this would be since it's education. If you want to be on the youth grants committee, that was oh. actually what I was interested Great. in. That's what I was thinking. About. Then, then I'll be I'll be uh, withdrawn from that okay. to make space for you, so you have. Uh, a committee that you really would like. Yes. And I know uh, Guy is very good uh, with government stuff, so he's done things like that before. Fantastic. And now that I want to be off of all of this, <laughs> I mean, I'm, I still. You can certainly I'm, consult. I'm still on two committees. <laughs> so, but I, you know, I want to make sure that you feel like you're someplace where you really want to be. Like Keith really wants to be at finance. You. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. So if that works, then. 
I like people to make happy. It's a season. Yes, <laughs> the youth grant committee, we got to do some field trips too. That's, uh, that's, uh, that's really fun. Visit some schools. I'm sure you've visited schools before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Once or twice. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, so um, <coughs> do we have a motion to uh, approve the amended committee roster? Uh, I will move to approve the committee roster amended to, on the governance committee, replace Matilda with Guy, and on the youth grant committee, replace Matilda with Elizabeth. All and right. then put and the, and put the uh, fund development committee on hold. And put the fund development committee on hold. How about, how about Keith a fund? Can we have a fund development? Right. <laughs> <laughs> and, and move Keith on his finance. Oh, that's right. And put Keith, add Keith to the finance committee. I'll second that one. All right, so we have a, a motion and a second. Um, all, any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, we have committees. Great. We are committed. All right, so uh, moving right along. Um, I. We up a calendar. I, I love centered uh, documents, Keith, but I decided to make a bold stylistic <laughs> change to the calendar this year. Um, <laughs> I, I, I hope you approve. Uh, and, and I think I looked to see if any of these were on holidays, and I didn't see. I don't know if anybody double checked Memorial me. Memorial Day. I think no, I did May. Memorial Day again. Yeah. Yeah. See, yeah, I, I, I double checked. Like I, I imported the, the, the Hall of County holidays. <laughs> The county <laughs> celebrating Memorial Day on a different holiday. Yeah, right. <laughs> no, I went to import it again, and it said you already have imported it. And uh, okay, I guess it must have them. And That's I looked. What we had last maybe time. Seems yeah. early, but maybe something. Okay, I think it's thirty. We can change it right now. Uh, yes. No. Let's Memorial Day will be on the twenty-fifth. That's August. correct. Okay. That's the first thing I put on my calendars. <laughs> <laughs> the holidays. Yeah. Okay. Do, do you want to change it to a week before? Would that work for everybody? Yeah, that yeah. would make more sense than yeah. Apple. Oh. I may be gone. All right. You'll never have everybody carry on without What will, we do, what will we do with that? Okay, I'm trying to find the calendar in here, but I know our, our table secretary. Okay, does that sound good to everybody? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Then, unless there's any further discussion, is there a motion? I'll motion that uh, the calendar be approved. Okay. A second. All right. We have a motion and a second. Motion by Director Rand, second by <coughs> Director O'Driscoll. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? All right, we have a calendar. All right, now we move on to page two. <coughs> um, item 11 is a doozy, a very exciting one. I hope you all agree. Uh, it is to approve the actions necessary to hire a full-time executive director. Um, as four parts, uh, approve the personnel committee recommendations for executive director job description and salary range. B is to approve the finance committee recommendations for a mid-year budget uh, adjustment to fund full-time executive director. And C is to approve a new contract with CMAP because we, uh, the co our existing contract requires 30 days notice be given. Um, and to approve the 30 day notice of contract termination. And item D is to actually hire the full-time uh, executive director. And uh, the wonderful uh, report, which uh, Larry was admiring earlier, um, was written up uh, by Director Hall. And would you care to uh, give us? Um, well, why don't you start first with the personnel committee and what they oh, did, and then absolutely. I'll go to finance. Right, and then right. We'll we'll go down the kind of the sequence without going into great detail, but try to give you a little bit of an overview sure. on it. Sure. Absolutely. Um, so the personnel committee met and uh, we had a, as a starting document basically a, a slightly modified version of the, the previous executive director um, job description and we made a, a few little tweaks, uh, one, you know, to... Uh, and you're pointing at the three of us because we are on yep. the committee. These yeah. are the personnel, oh, right. personnel <laughs> committee right here. Um, <coughs> one was to actually include uh, public access in, in the, the, the language, which it was alluded to before. Uh, Previously, but, um, and uh, I felt that you know while uh, ten years of experience in, in television is certainly a very desirable uh, uh, trait in executive director, uh, in the future when we're hiring an executive director, maybe hard to find that. Um, but so um, I, I asked that we move that to the um, rec you know desired traits, desired uh, experience. Um, 
But other than that, uh, and we came up with a salary range of 80000 to $120,000 base salary plus benefits, which seemed like um, reasonable, especially since uh, Larry has much experience in that department of salary ranges and such. It seemed like a reasonable number. It did. Based on everything. Yes. C can I ask a question? I, I, you may have mentioned this when you introduced it, but I, I um, missed it. Th th these are edits to the job description for the previous executive director, or because the current. current well, but Beck actually hasn't. She's been a contract right. employee. That's why the, the, right. the old one. So it's the old one, yeah. right? Old one. Okay, that's what I assume you oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's the, it's a job description that basically, I mean, the the job carried over yeah, even exactly. though it's a yeah. contract, yeah. It's, you know, through CMAP. But basically, the, the tasks, duties are the same. Yeah, right. exactly the same. Right. And then okay. we added. I mean, we had a thorough discussion. I was very pleased with, uh, with what, and we kept in mind, you know, our strategic plan, and you know, making sure that that would connect, and you know, and that's why we added a few things. Right. So it was a very, um, very fruitful conversation. Mm -hmm. Unless there are any questions, I'll go on to the finance committee. And just so you know, Tom, I, Matreya, and Keith as a guest <coughs> were on it. And first of all, I think we're at kind of a point, I don't want to over belabor it of a miracle, because a few years ago, CTV was on the verge, you know, verge of just disappearing. And where we are now is we survived, and hiring an executive director is a way to start moving forward. You did a wonderful strategic plan, but Becca pointed out, and I wasn't fully aware of this, that you had, what, one day a week? Yeah. in real time here uh, yeah to, to move things forward yeah and that really isn't going to move much forward but a couple of things happened that really so kind did. of brought us to this point and i'll highlight those we have a budget adjustment here that will do this but uh, i'll just run over those uh first of all why we're here now as opposed to in the budget time or some other time and then a few other little things and then uh, if you have any questions we'll go from there uh, first of all, uh, we're at the point of our end of our contract with CMAX, so we had to decide whether to move forward or to renew it or whatever. So that was one thing that kind of brought this forward. Uh, the incumbent part-time executive director uh, expressed an interest in going full-time. That was good. It's always good to have interest. But C, most importantly, the FCC has changed some rules. And where we started out when we had to make some big cuts at community TV, is we receive a certain degree of the uh, fees from uh, cable TV, but they get uh, pastimes used to run the whole station and buy equipment. Well, there were some changes in the law with getting into the details that said, well, you can buy all the equipment, but you have to figure out how to hire and maintain it and operate it. And that's how we became involved in uh, satellite and using sublease space to create revenue. It, it's quite a complex formula, and how it was pulled off, I'll mention again, was just a combination of our executive director's work, our volunteers' work, the board's work, and, and so to speak, it worked. So what happened then, and I'll ask Tom to do this because he rewrote my version of it into a more uh, articulate and correct version, <laughs> is that the FCC has changed some rules which allow us now to use and let you take over from there. What, what they did is they, they clarified, there's been sort of a dispute all along um, where cable companies uh, did not want us to use capital dollars for certain things that um, many, uh, many PEG operations have used them for and, and have long believed that they should be used for. And they, this was part of a much larger rule change, but as a result of that rule change, they sort of clarified what PEG fees can be used for, things like cameras and all the things that we've always assumed they could be. Um, and in, in um, at the same time, what it allows us to do then is look at what's the appropriate use of operating doll of, pardon me, of labor for capital <coughs> expenditures. So um, we're working, you know, we'll be working consistent with GAP, <laughs> generally accepted accounting principles, um, which have rules about where you can actually charge thing, charge labor appropriately to capital. Mm -hmm. And that allows us then to take some of the dollars from all of the employees here at um, CTV who do work 
on the capital, the different capital uh, projects, work on that equipment to charge some of that to the capital budget. So going forward, we'll be doing that as if this is all approved. Um, and it's a significant change for us. And, and adding to that, we're going to use a little bit of our carryover revenue from last year. Uh, and there's some other finances we found. And so by switching money from the capital to the operating, we freed up enough money to make a start with a full-time executive director. And there is an assumption in here, and I think we all should understand it, is that having a full-time executive director will not only be able to service the community, the volunteers, and the board better, but also hopefully increase some of the revenue so we have enough money going forward to continue mm -hmm. this. We'll never know unless we try, and this mm -hmm. is an attempt to do it. And I think because of the uh, information Tom covered, we're in a much better position to do it before. We were just sitting there spinning our wheels hoping, and now we can. So without going into it, we brought along a budget adjustment if you have questions, I'll be glad to go over it all with you. But we went over it all into exhaustion, and I think we're pretty much, uh, uh, you know, we've figured it out at this point to be appropriately done. And if I can just add one clarification that, that um, would be important for us to have, and I'll ask that it be included um, in the motion. On, <coughs> on the proposed operating budget changes, there are three pages there of the budget. There's one line for the executive director which lists, um, it's, it's page two, Larry, for your notes there. Okay. Um, the executive director, the amount of change there where we're saying that, that uh, to pay for the executive director for the next six months, the 45,423, that is correct, but the note simply says salary, mm -hmm. and that is actually salary less 10% because 10% of that salary is coming out of the capital budget. Uh, so if you, the number would be higher if we weren't doing that. Okay. Um, and it was just, it's just a clarification on the note, really. It should just say salary um, less 10% okay. of capital. Okay, I got you, I got you. <laughs> okay. Is there a separate line item that, in, that includes the, the capital? Yeah, then there, yeah, if you go back to the capital budget, you'll see other numbers there. All right, okay. okay. Now you can see how it takes a while for us to do our monthly financial report. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, Matreya, do you want to go on with uh, number C there? Um, oh, yes. The okay. CMAC contract. Yeah, so the, the contract, uh, you know, is the pretty much the same contract that we've had um, ongoing for the last three, three five years? years? Five years. Five years with uh, CMAP. Um, with just uh, the numbers changed a little bit uh, to include a cost of living adjustment. Um, I found one typo, I fixed that, and then I, I added just a little bit of, uh, I, I don't remember exactly which item it is, but there's something, one of the, the um, responsibilities of the executive director is to um, ensure that we meet our um, audit requirements with the, with the county, and I just added something to that that, um, um, that now we do, comp well, it's an audit or compilation reports, because that's what the county is uh, now requiring of us. Um, so other than that, it's it's the same contract that we've had all this time, and um, so we um, you know, because it requires uh, 30 days notice to CMAP to, con uh, to cancel uh, to con cancel the contract. We need to approve it first, uh, and then we can. So um, so in that. essence, the contract ended two days ago. We're right. extending it, so the contract reads for a full year. And then as soon as the new contract takes, a takes effect, we're um, giving CMAP 30 days notice that we're actually terminating. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's just to <laughs> kind of so giving, tie up all the loose strings. We couldn't just give 30 days now without no. approving it. Well, we could, yeah. but it would be immediate, right? Because we have no, no contract. Not really. No. Well, it would sort of well, leave them hanging. Yeah. Which, uh, we all need to have a contract to last through December. Okay. Otherwise, we literally don't have any of Becca's time without a contract. Okay. Right. So okay. we continue the contract That's until secure. we have a full-time okay. executive director. Which and they're aware of this, that it's going to terminate. Yes. Yeah. I, okay, so they yeah. are in the yes. know. <laughs> they, they've been notified. And Thank you for uh, and stating that. And more the reason we're coming at this indicated. point is, like I said, there were three or four things that were going on, and they kind of coalesced, and it was either take it now, mm -hmm or wait a year, yep. and I think it was, you know, we thought of the three of us it was time to move forward. Mm -hmm. So there's item D now. Uh -huh. 
So you want a you want a motion on well, no, we everything? Well, so so for everything or each item because don't mean to no. We'll do it all at once. But I just wanted okay. you to, us to cover each of the three <coughs> or four recommendations. So the what next is the salary that we are approving? That's because it's sort it's of in the budget. oddly stated. It is <laughs> not. That's what we're going to talk about in number D. Uh, <laughs> well, the salary should be an executive session. Right? That's not an open. Right. No, we have the salary range and yeah. then the executive right. session and talk about that. All of our numbers are open as a Brown Act. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, the numbers are open, but the, the, discussion, the, the discussion about the uh, exact salary is need to, we need to discuss yeah. it first and then it's open. Oh, okay, so it hasn't been determined. Looks yet. like uh, well, it, it has to be determined. approved in, uh, in the open office. session. Oh, right. Okay. The, the number. Uh, has to be approved and it doesn't have to be discussed well, in the session. It's in the budget. It's, yeah. it's, 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 it's in the budget. It's also in the contract with CMAP that we're approving. Yeah. yeah. So because yeah. that was all part of, um, we've gone through this each year where there is a, um, a discussion with CMAP about um, potential raises. And so I'm looking for it. I know it's in here somewhere. It right? is. Well, and then I'll, I'll ask uh, in our finance committee meeting, we mentioned whether. Uh, CTV needs to have a contract um, with Becca, um, and I guess the, I think we said that eventually that would be a good thing to have, but it's not required um, at the outset. So we can talk to you can talk about that during your closed session. Yeah, right. how you want to structure that. But in the meantime, Tom has. Well, I have a so we have a third of her time. So give me a second, and I'll tell you what her a third. Of, well, a third of her time is. Thirty-six thousand four hundred seventy dollars and twenty cents on, under mm -hmm. the contract. Yeah. So you can do the math from that in terms of what an annual salary would be. But it's a burdened amount. That's that is the burdened amount. The burden. Why don't you explain uh, what you're talking about? Insurance. With yeah. yeah. benefits, yeah. cost of benefits, and, and everything else. But fully loaded. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. And that that salary is what we actually gave you the plan on. I thought a six month salary wouldn't be worth going to all the trouble of this for six months. So we plan for a one year uh, existence of this. Anyhow, and, and that number was $138,000. 33. 33, excuse me. He just gave you a bonus. Benefits, <laughs> benefits, 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 benefits. everything. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the number that if you, if you looked at the report on this, it's in the very top. <laughs> Hold on a second. If you looked at this report, it and you see there's this table at the bottom of it. The total amount is 131,400. Thank you. Thank you. So that's and what that 131,400 is the fully loaded salary for a year. Is that confusing enough? <laughs> Okay. Behind you. And Matreas, do you want to sum up or? Oh, oh boy. <laughs> uh, all right, well, so that, that's it. That's what we have. Um, we think, uh, you know, uh, not everybody here was able to attend the, um, the board retreat in October, but, um, you know, we had a wonderful discussion. We, we have this wonderful um, strategic plan that the committee. Uh, you know, slaved over for, for months. And um, yeah, it became obvious to us that it's great to have goals and objectives, but without somebody to, you know, carry those out, carry those forth, that um, they're just gonna remain goals and objectives and not reality. So um, uh, as this opportunity has arisen and because since the numbers um, seem like they're gonna work, I, I believe that um, we have a great opportunity here to move our organization forward and um, and do some great things. So um, I'm hoping that the board will approve this uh, this plan. Anybody looking for a motion? Sure, uh, go ahead. Do we have a motion? You wrote it, so you should. Oh, <laughs> I did? <guess. laughs> it was a team effort. Uh, Everybody <laughs> had a little piece in. I would move all of the actions related to item 11 on the agenda with the addition of the minor change to the notes in the budget. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Second. Yeah. All right. We have a, a motion by um, Director Mannheim and second by Director Hall. 
Any I'd, further questions or discussion? I, I would just like to say that I'm very much in favor of this. My concern was not only paying for it this year, but in years mm -hmm. hence. And mm -hmm. I like the way that it's structured and the, the fact that the rules have changed a little bit and that frees up some of those funds that we can use. I mean, that's kind of the key deal mm -hmm. because right. that's what's hamstrung us before. Exactly. So exactly. I'm very much in favor of this. And uh, if I can just add on that point, one of the things we did discuss, I mean, we all you know, believe this will be successful, that you know, on an ongoing basis we'll be able to afford this. We had that conversation and the executive director sort of is aware that, you know, th that she has a burden to bring in new revenues with the additional time and um, and if that doesn't happen, we'll have to revisit it. But mm -hmm. we're going forward believing it's going to happen successfully. Yes, absolutely. Well, thank you all. Any further questions, uh, comments, discussion? All right, let's call the vote. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? We have a new executive director. <laughs> not, yes, not, yes, not a third. Yeah, no. not a third. January two, right? Yeah. Well, no, no, no. Closed session. That's what closed session. Uh, right. Closed session. Okay. Yeah. Well, we, we have, have we have a, a position. Plan. We have an approved. Yeah, we have a position. We have a. Okay. We're moving forward. Yes. For that. That close. All right. Um, well, that, that, that's a perfect segue to item number 12, which is the oral report of the executive director. Um, we didn't get it in writing this month because a lot, as you, as you can tell a lot of things are going on, but, um, uh, I have. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, this is a report for October, because we're in December, but really, we should have met in November, and I always report on the thing frequently, so it seems like we're way back in already behind. season. <laughs> 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 so under uh, financial and co-working, uh, October was a great month. We uh, Our break-even number is 10,000, and we earned 15,647. So it's a great thing, and, mm -hmm. and what it really shows is that we can do it, and so we just need more, more, uh, more people to be aware of us, and many new people came and worked here and really enjoyed it, so uh, that was a good thing for us, sad for others. Um, uh, we always do government meetings. We did approximately 19 meetings in October. That was a, kind of the usual month for us. Um, under uh, staffing, uh, Victor is training one of our government technicians to learn how to program the channels. Um, Victor is the only guy who knows what he does. So um, we're trying to cross-train other people so that he might one day go on vacation. <laughs> and, um, so uh, he, we're teaching one of the, we've got a couple of really new, uh, great young technicians and they're very excited to learn more. So uh, we're doing that and we're also going to be training two of them to learn to run a studio as well because the idea going forward is we're getting a lot more um, people want to rent it and so um, our equipment is is very good but not uh, not every producer knows how to run it so we want to have some people who know how they can then pay for our staff to help them. So we're going to train a couple of people to run the studio. And under equipment and facilities, um, we, our new fiber connection has finally been installed. Really? Yeah. Is it lit up? Wow. <laughs> you on it? Yeah, we have now. We're, we're on it. It's in here. At first it was in here and I was like, nothing's happening. There's just a big wire hanging in the room. Yeah. So there, there's a whole other process to connect it to things. So now it's connected and working and so it's so exciting. <laughs> very speedy. It's very speedy. And uh, we also, uh, you might have noticed a new parking lot. It's all, it's all been refurbished. It's all nice and black and has brand new stripey things on it. So that's nice. Directional signs will come soon. And actually, there is a good way to enter and exit. And people, you know, we need the signs to tell people because it's real dangerous to head out on mm -hmm. this side of the parking lot because you can't see anything beyond our sign. Mm -hmm. Um, and the elemental that you uh, approved the purchase of a few months ago, that was the $25,000 piece of equipment. Victor installed it and it is working great and he did a wonderful job. He took a long time, about a month, oh, tweaking it and getting it all ready and doing it all the programming here. And when he went and installed it, it was just, he plugged the old one in and he plugged the new one in, he unplugged the old one, and it was, we were probably down for five minutes. He really did an excellent mm -hmm. job. It took a lot of care mm -hmm. and thought and went into it to make it all happen, and it worked like a charm. So that's great, and now we've shipped the old one back. That was part of our deal, and um, we're all done. We've got a really advanced piece of equipment, and we're good for another few years there. 
Um, under communications, we're doing, uh, still doing First Friday. Um, uh, we're having a really fun time with that. Ian's really great. He's a really good host and he has a good time. And we do not only the, we have the art and the artists, but we also do things in the studio so people can try out virtual reality and fun stuff like that. And uh, we also worked on our earthquake history project in October. We collected 15 stories, which was good. Not all of them got edited. W when we looked at them, they weren't all great stories. They were more like interesting moments. And so our idea is now to combine a bunch of moments on the same topic so that we can mm -hmm. collect like impressions from a lot of people about one thing. Mm -hmm. And so we're working on that. So the wonderful thing about this is every year we have October 17th. So mm -hmm. we will put, put some more on every year we'll have new stories. So we're still working on that. Um, on outreach, we had a, um, <laughs> I have a typo in my, <laughs> luckily you can't see this. <laughs> so, uh, Show to him, he wants to see it. He's, he's typo. missed a typo. <laughs> <laughs> we, um, we held a uh, lunch for local professional producers. So we had a lunch and a tour of the studio so people could come in and see what we have. And one, one thing I wanted to reassure local producers was that we're not in the producing business and we're not gonna take your jobs away. We just wanna, we really just wanna be a resource for you and support you and what you're doing and get the finest equipment that we can, that you can use, you can rent, and you don't have to be in the equipment business to stay mm -hmm. current and to be able to compete. And so we had our crane set up and our dolly set up and, and a lot of our cooler, our big FS7 camera. And so they got to try things out and, and it was fun. And out of that came um, TAM Communications was here and they brought some of their newer staff so they could see what we were doing. And they offered to work with us on a meetup where we can bring a bunch of producers in and to get some content and, and uh, have a tour and see some new things here. So that's Exciting. Mm. <laughs> and um, we're also, I had another conversation with the video link people. So I've been working with them for a long time to mm. try to get them to put a satellite uplink in our building. And um, I think I finally have gotten the person who could actually move it forward. So hopefully that'll happen soon. And uh, then we can have people come here, like Zach Friend does like four or five a month mm. of those. And he could do them here instead of driving off to Mountain View. So I think that, and he's just one guy. So there's, I think there's a lot of business out there for, we get calls all the time. We've gotten calls from PBS and ESPN and all kinds of people. <coughs> so I think it's a good business model for us and we can really work on that. And that is, that is my report for October. I have a quick question. Yes. Have you gotten any feedback on the new uh, high speed from any of the, our, our our clients here? No one has mentioned anything. <laughs> <laughs> no, but no one's complained either. No right? one's complained. <laughs> and I, and uh, the staff is very happy. Okay. Because uh -huh. uh, we're doing another thing too. We're separating out. We have, we have two, we have some, uh, we have some switching things that we need to separate out so we can have the co-working separate from the <coughs> CPD. We're working on that, but they're very happy. They don't get bumped off all the time now. Mm -hmm. They used to be trying to upload these big files that we have and they would get almost there and it would mm -hmm. die out and you have to start again. Mm -hmm. So that's stopped and that's making that's them very happy. Greater efficiency then, yes. Oh yes, no, oh gosh, yeah, that was one of the big reasons. The reasons we did this was mostly for them, but we do have producers who come here and when they're editing, they have the same problems mm -hmm. that our staff does. So this will make it much better for when we have editors in here trying to upload their files or, or um, to, for approval. Or a lot of times you upload stuff to render farms or you upload mm -hmm. stuff to other countries where animation takes place. Mm -hmm. And that takes a lot of bandwidth. So mm -hmm. now we have it. Fantastic. That's great. Yeah. Any further questions on that item? All right. Fantastic. Moving right along. Um, uh, would you like to give us one last report uh, sure. <laughs> as the, the chair of the Volunteer Advisory Committee? Well, I had a great conversation with Keith, Director Gutcher, yes. as you like to call him, uh, because <coughs> my activities with the radio station and, and other social uh, involvement things were just at such a point that I couldn't do it all. And I want to do it well. So I really enjoyed being the, the Volunteer Advisory Committee Chair. Um, I think the, the group has you know, brought some, some interesting items to the board. And, but uh, I think you know, Keith will bring some new energy and will make some communication, especially with the fact that 
for you know f f have finalized the um, um, executive director's extended oh. time. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> we <laughs> we we have we have already planned together the three of us that there will be a lot more um, direct interaction with producers and. Um, <coughs> and directors and specifically you know what we were interested in and we've discussed that um, more skills development mm -hmm. and I actually was uh, fortunate to have a conversation with Becca with, with executive director Reed <laughs> <laughs> and, and director Gutscher <laughs> Uh, about <laughs> about how to start up a program, and so I learned that sometimes what you do is you just start with a um, a statement, and so that afternoon I did it. Oh, I did had you do that? I had two programs, and I did it. So it was kind of an interesting uh, um, experience for for all of us, you know, because it's it's different with the director and the person on first camera and all that mm. on camera one. So uh, I'm looking f forward to a lot more as a participant, mm. but I definitely will continue to be on the VAC mm. as a member. Mm. But um, yeah, so I want to thank all the members of the VAC, um, Steve Plage, Linda Janakos, Keith Gutcher, Karen um, Scott, um, David Goldman, and I am thinking if I'm Richard Dussel, Phil, Phil no, Harmonic, no? No, no, they're not, they're not. And, and me. Mm. I've enjoyed uh, working with all of them. Michael, Michael Parks. Parks? Michael Parks, see, I knew there was another <laughs> person. Michael Parks. So That's I want to thank all of them. It was a pleasure working with them. And I'm sure Keith will uh, help us to uh, find even more creative ways to use our facilities, our, our equipment, and, um, <coughs> and our community to, to uh, help reach out to our community. So that's my final word, and I'll stick to it. Thank you very much, Thank Director Rand. I just want to express appreciation, okay. not just to the VAC, but to you for your leadership of the VAC through this entire transition. I mean, it's a lot of burden fell on all of you and um, did a great job. Thank you. I'll I we'll share that it with them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I will share that with them, and the work will continue. And we will continue to do inventory, you know, of sure. the equipment, oh, yeah. <laughs> all that stuff. All that work still be there. All mm -hmm. the tapes were cataloged and indexed already. Uh, I know. <laughs> that was a lot of work. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Only have to do it once, though, right? Hopefully. Well, uh, if, it's, if it's up to uh, Becca, oh. uh, we would have more information. Mm. And so that might be uh, one second of the projects. Pass, maybe. Yeah. Okay. I'd like to know what's on the Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not just the titles and who's in it, but right, right. really, you know. We need librarians for that. Yeah. AI, how about AI? Automation. Like Automation. <laughs> it's somewhere around here. We see fire around. Fantastic. Well, Good. thank you very much. Uh, any other comments, questions regarding that item, number 13? All right, we can move on to uh, item 14, the oral, oral report of the board chair. I think you've heard enough from me, so um, I will maybe um, use this opportunity to, to Thank again, Judy. Um, you know, it's been wonderful this past year plus to have you here, and um, you've made some, uh, the word enthusiasm, you know, you've been so enthusiastic in, in coming up with so many wonderful ideas, and um, we actually uh, had our first equipment lease thanks to your efforts um, and proving that um, that program is possible, and, and, and we've actually budgeted, uh, we were counting on doing more of them, so. Um, um, thank you so much for um, helping make that happen and for uh, participating. And thank you also for being willing to be a friend of Community TV and, and a friend of the board, somebody that we can turn to um, as we need to. You're welcome. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I actually, when we did our strategic plan, and a lot of those you go to and you scratch your head and you write out all sorts of wonderful ideas. And uh, there was one that came up, that you came up with, which has now actually happened, and that's the RSVP studio. Mm. Mm. Remember you said, and mm -hmm. of course right next to her was Keith, who <laughs> actually did it. <laughs> but I thought that was a pretty good combination mm -hmm. of ideas right. and uh, action. So yes, absolutely. So you're leaving and with you a legacy. you guys have been a lot of fun to work with, and I still want to continue doing that. I might become more of a volunteer and okay. a 
uh, enjoying some of the actual activities, so I'm hoping that I just transition to a slightly different role. Fantastic. But thank you all. Thank you so much. Thank you, Judy. And we wish you all the best in your continued uh, involvement in, in different ways. Um, and I, I will say that I had an action item uh, from the board retreat, uh, which, you know, I'm, I'm a procrastinator, so I probably should have done it the next day, but now I'm just kind of waiting for the right time. Um, <laughs> so um, I, I haven't forgotten, but uh, I will be contacting somebody at the county regarding one of the ideas that we have. So um, probably between now and Christmas might be a good time. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned for what the idea was, but I remember. <laughs> you remember okay. It was a good idea, and, and, and yes. And, uh, anyways, um, so that's enough of me. Um, we can move on to item number 15, the board member uh, staff request for specific items. Does anybody have anything they want to bring to our next agenda? No? Nope. All right, seeing none, uh, we can move on to item 16. Um, we're going to do, we still have more after this, but um, I, I think we're probably going to end the, the TV uh, broadcast before we report out of closed session because I don't think we'll have much to report. So um, I would like to take uh, this opportunity to thank our all-volunteer crew today, which consists of Linda Janakis, Karen Scott, Sherry Ross, Nick Kirkendall, and David Goldman. And of course, um, Keith Gouger was here helping to set up before too. So um, thank you all for, um, for uh, uh, making this uh, accessible to the rest of the county. Um, so I think at this point we can um, should we make uh, an uh, do we need we to move we need to move to, to, to adjourn the closed session, to adjourn closed session. Then we have I'll, a motion? I'll make a motion that we uh, close the open session and go into closed session all right we have a motion by director and a second second all right we have a second by dr Mannheim. all those in favor aye, aye. 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 all right so um we are uh, going into closed session thank you very much